Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. At a memorial service in Las Vegas, two weeks after the Sister Wise family's private funeral on March 9, they were spotted together in public. The Nevada National Guard posted pictures of Garrison's parents and siblings paying their respects and paying tribute to him. Cody was reticent. He was less inclined to mingle, a source told the U.S. Sun. Robin encouraged Cody to sit close to Janelle, which is a reference to the final remaining wife of the patriarch, who hasn't been in contact with her sister wives, Christine, Mary, or Janelle. It wasn't good for Robin, either since a lot of the family still has resentment towards her. According to earlier reports from the U.S. Sun, Robin was viewed as the biggest villain by Garrison and his brother Gabe, who wanted nothing to do with her, since they thought she was a contributing factor in the family's disintegration and Cody's breakup with his ex-girlfriends. Along with Garrison and Gabe, Janelle and her ex-partner Cody are parents to four more children, Logan, Maddie, Hunter, and Savannah. The family reunion was awkward. The insider continued, but everyone came together and they supported each other. There was no hostility, no fighting, nothing of the like. Regarding Christine's current spouse, Cody manned up and was actually vulnerable with David Woolley. The source went on. The family dynamic was intriguing as there were individuals who were content, some who were upset, and those who were in the middle. It was just like, let's focus on garrison type of thing. It really wasn't about any ill will feelings towards each other. Some family members chose to wear Hawaiian patterns in remembrance of their late relative, Garrison's clothing company, which a source told the US Sun was a sentimental thing between the kids. Even with the March 24 reunion, a source has maintained that more work needs to be done to mend ties and that things won't be all sunshine and butterflies from now on. Fans of Sister Wives may remember that during the COVID-19 epidemic, Cody and Robin caused friction in the family when the father of 18 imposed severe regulations that his wives and children had to abide by. Since they recently lost a family member, Cody's boys and the other children will not be open to him at this time. Cody will need to put in even more effort to repair the harm he's caused, the source asserted to the U.S. Sun. He's not even thinking about chances of reconciliation since he's still processing Garrison's death and grieving his loss. The day before his tragic demise, worries about Garrison's well-being were raised by his last texts. The Flagstaff police report that the U.S. Sun was able to get states that Janelle told authorities she sold troubling communications from her son until he stopped responding. He sent one text message to the folks he works with on the TRC show, along with his family. You mentioning the good times makes me want to despise you. However, I am unable to. I miss these days, Janelle reported to the police. Police were also informed by the TV personality that Garrison is estranged from his father. But according to the police report, Gabe left the crime scene to pick up his father and return with him to the apartment after realizing his brother was dead and interacting with law enforcement. Since the devastating news first out, Cody has only once expressed his opinions on Instagram. Cody wrote in the captions of two old pictures of Garrison, Janelle and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. He brought joy and happiness to everyone he came into contact with. Our loss will leave a void in our life that is so immense it will leave us speechless. According to reports, Sister Wives Season 19 will depict what happens after Garrison into Family death. Women's star Robert Garrison Brown's death is still pending despite a report from The U.S. Sun claiming it was closed. A PIO for the Flagstaff Police Department simply tells in touch. The department's case operation system shows the disquisition into the TLC star's March death assigned to its case operative, the public information officer confirms to in touch on Thursday, April 4. This is likely due to staying on the medical monitor's report. The exclusive update comes hours after the U.S. Sun's report ran, claiming that the disquisition into Garrison's death was closed and ruled as self-murder a month after his woeful death. 
Garrison was set up dead on March 5 in his Flagstaff, Arizona, home by his youngish family Gabriel Brown, who was transferred by their mama, Janelle Brown, to check on him. The 25-time-old was pronounced dead at the scene from a toned foisted projectile crack. The night ahead, Janelle, 54, upset about Garrison after learning of some textbook, dispatches her son, transferred in a group converse to people the family worked with. I want to detest you for participating the good times, but I can't. I miss these days, Garrison wrote, according to the police report attained by In Touch. The mama of six told police she had a brief discussion with her son before he just stopped texting. The lack of response upset Janelle, who also transferred gave 22. Janelle told authorities she should have gotten Garrison help, but the report didn't specify what kind of backing he might have demanded. His roommates and family claimed he'd been battling issues with alcohol and had been depressed. Gabe indicated that Garrison had been floundering with internal health enterprises, but believed his aged family had been doing better after acquiring a new job at the Flagstaff Medical Center, according to the report. Garrison's roommates in Flagstaff, Arizona, also told police that they had a pop come from Garrison's room on the evening of Monday, March 4, but didn't check on the reality star since they didn't believe the noise was a projectile. Addison, one of Garrison's roommates, said he'd exchanges with Garrison about him being depressed recently and stated he was an alcoholic and drinks every night. He mentioned that the TLC personality had been having problems with his ex-girlfriend but had no way heard him say anything that would raise a red flag about him conceivably committing self-murder. Garrison was laid to rest on March 9, with his half-family Michaelty Brown revealing it was the first time she'd seen her family together in times. Payans for Garrison have poured in from his large family, with numerous pledging to make internal health a precedence. It wasn't a lack of love that Garrison had. It was internal health, and I'm going to continue talking about internal health and tone care until I'm blue in the face, because I do not suppose it's talked about enough. His aged family Maddie Brown wrote in a detailed post on March 18, it's a highlight role, and that was commodity that me and Garrison talked a lot about. I know my other siblings and my mama expressed this, that Garrison used to feel like he wasn't doing enough because he was comparing himself to effects on social media. The department's case operation system shows the disquisition into the TLC star's March death assigned to its case operative. The public information officer confirms to in touch on Thursday, April 4, this is likely due to staying on the medical monitor's report. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.